right now, and uh, they were set for a landing in just a few moments on the concrete runway number 22 at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Uh, not able to see it right now because it's uh, still quite a ways away. CNN's Ann McDermott joins us uh, live from Edwards Air Force Base in California. The preparations uh, are all complete there, eh? Yes, pretty much. And of course, we cannot see the space shuttle here. Those cameras are excellent. However, uh, as you can see, it's dark. The spectators that the few spectators that are gathering here aren't going to have much of a view. But the big news here is it's wonderful weather. It's clear. It's cold. But there are no winds, no rain, not like tomorrow. It's expected to 30 percent precipitation. But uh, so that's the reason why they moved it up for tonight. Meanwhile, we're just waiting for it to come down, and everybody's expecting a great landing. The weather here is just about ideal. Tom? As you're saying, the weather is ideal right now, but uh, in the next 24 hours, the situation at Edwards was going to change, and at the Kennedy Space Center, their primary backup spot, uh, they had some clouds, they said, were coming in there. So the decision was made earlier in the day to bring Columbia home. Uh, any sense of disappointment? Uh, there was a critical report today by the White House uh, about NASA and the space program. Anyone you've talked out there expressing any disappointment? about uh, possibly a loss of confidence? No, I haven't heard that. Uh, people here are, uh, as is usual in shuttle landings, uh, they're busy, they're interested, they're excited, and they're just looking forward to this landing being a very, very good one. I, I get no sense of uh, any negative feeling. All right, CNN's Ann McDermott from Edwards Air Force Base in California. We do have uh, live animation now from NASA showing uh, the track of the Space Shuttle Columbia that is, as it is moving uh, towards uh, Edwards Air Force Base and the concrete runway there. Uh, you can uh, see uh, the, the track that uh, they have taken on this last orbit. We will have uh, live coverage of the landing in just a moment after this short break. CNN's coverage of Shuttle Columbia is brought to you by Seiko, the future of time. Available at your authorized Seiko dealer. You can fly. With your feet on the ground, you can soar. Because the most advanced timekeeping technology on Earth has an IQ. Seiko Intelligent Quartz. So functions never dreamed of on a single watch are amazingly simple to understand. Seiko, the future of time. Available in all participating best showrooms. The Space Shuttle Columbia is about three minutes away from the end of the runway right now. We can see on the long-range tracking camera the white spot. They're going to use an infrared camera on the end of the runway uh, to show Columbia as it is uh, being tracked all the way down. This is uh, rather unusual in the NASA program. They like to land the shuttle, of course, during daylight hours. Uh, this is the fourth time in the shuttle history program of the 38 missions that they've decided to come in at night. Flight Dynamics Officer reports uh, Columbia looks good rolling on to the heading alignment cone. Very shortly, uh, Brandon Gardner will be incorporating the microwave landing system data into onboard guidance and navigation. The decision was made earlier in the day to bring Columbia back because of the bad weather conditions that were developing that both in California and in Florida. Uh, scientists had hoped to get another day of astronomy out of the telescopes because uh, they had so much problem during this mission with the instrument pointing system that uh, caused them to slow down as far as the number of acquisitions they had. They had lost two computer screens and were basically operating the telescopes blind from the telescope, uh, from the shuttle, and uh, used ground tracking to fine point the uh, satellite uh, targets that they had up. The uh, Columbia now, as you can see, is uh, making a bank. Uh, the white dot is fairly small in the center of your screen, but uh, they're making that last bank as they come in as on Columbia the concrete on runway. The final approach, uh, Commander Brand will be watching for the uh, high intensity light beams from the uh, Pappy, which will serve as glide slope alignment aids as he uh, makes Columbia's way towards uh, runway 22. This is the end of the sixth shuttle mission and the last one for 1990. Roger, copy. Range six nautical miles, altitude 8,000 feet, descending at 120 feet per second. As Ann McDermott said a little while ago, uh, not much in the way of a crowd for this landing. Uh, uh, during the daylight hours when they can see something, uh, several thousand people still turn out, uh, even uh, at this late stage of the program, to uh, watch the shuttle touch down.
but uh, in the middle of the night, seconds, uh, not too many uh, people turning Brand out. We'll uh, perform the pre-flare maneuver to take some of the steep angle out of the uh, glide slope as Columbia reaches for Edwards Concrete Runway 22. Altitude 4,000 feet, descending at 148 feet per second. Range 2.5 nautical miles. Pre-flare underway. Landing gear coming down. Gear confirmed down and locked. And main gear touchdown. Brand slowly derotating the nose to the surface of runway 22. And nose gear touchdown. All 225,000 pounds of Columbia rolling out smoothly on runway 22. So as you can see on the infrared camera, the uh, heat of the orbiter on the underside, the white uh, portion of your screen, showing uh, Columbia as it's uh, rolling to a stop, the end of a nine-day plus mission. They again wanted to stay up for an extra day, but because of bad weather conditions at Edwards Air Force Base projected for tomorrow, they decided to come home early. So Columbia is back. The Astro mission is wrapped up, but the scientists will be talking about it for some time to come. Patrick? Mm -hmm. Tom and Jerry, thanks very much. Beautiful pictures of that infrared. Yeah, that really is incredible.